Hi everyone! みなさんこんにちは !I am teacher Yumiko Yumiko 先生です !Welcome back to my channel! 私のチャンネルにようこそ !How are you doing? みなさんお元気ですか Let's enjoy studying Japanese together today again! 今日も楽しく日本語を勉強していきましょう。Before going to our usual lessons, I am excited to tell you that I will give you some useful tips to enjoy Japan called multiple things to check out in Japan at the end of the video. Today, I will introduce my hometown. So please watch until the end. Don't miss it! 今日から日本で役立つ情報、題して、Multiple Things to Check Out in Japan をビデオの最後にお届けしたいと思います。今日は私の生まれ故郷を紹介します。最後までご覧ください。お見逃しなく。Well then, let's get started! それでは始めましょう。Today, we are going to learn five words. Thank you. You are welcome. Excuse me. I'm sorry. And nice to meet you. Today is the last day for learning new greetings. Okay? So, first, we will learn thank you. We have two ways to say thank you, like we did in good morning and good night. One is casual and the other is formal. The casual way is Arigato. Arigato. Please repeat Arigato. Arigato. The formal way is Arigato gozaimas. Arigato gozaimas. We just add Gozaimasu at the end of arigato. This is the same meaning as thank you very much. So please repeat. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Good. Like I explained in the videos about good morning and good night, mostly we say arigato to people who are younger than you. And we say arigato gozaimasu to people who are older than you. But there is one exception here. I think you can guess, right? Yes, you don't say arigato gozaimasu to your family members. So please repeat again. In casual way, arigato. Arigato. In formal way, arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Well done. Next, we will learn you are welcome. We say, どういたしまして。どういたしまして。Please repeat, どういたしまして。どういたしまして。Good! But to be honest with you, we don't often say どういたしまして in our daily conversations. Then what do we say instead? We say いえいえ。いえいえ。The meaning of いえいえ。It's really similar to no problem in English. 
You can say ie ie to everyone. Then let's practice ie ie. Please repeat ie ie. Ie ie. Good. Next, we will learn excuse me. We say Chotto sumimasen. Chotto sumimasen. Please repeat Chotto sumimasen. Chotto sumimasen. You can say Chotto sumimasen to everyone. Please repeat again. Chotto sumimasen. Chotto sumimasen. Well done. Next, we will learn I'm sorry. We have four ways to say I'm sorry, but I will tell you the three most commonly used ways here. These three are good to use in your daily conversations. The first one is most casual, the second one is casual, and the third one is formal. The most casual way is gomen, gomen. The casual way is Gomen nasai. Gomen nasai. The formal way is Sumimasen. Sumimasen. This is the same word as Sumimasen you learned in Excuse Me. I will tell you how to use those three different words Gomen, Gomen nasai, and Sumimasen. Mostly, we say gomen to people who are younger than you. A lot of women say gomen ne. You just add ne to the end of gomen. And we say gomen nasai, tsumimasen to people who are older than you. But adults don't often say gomen nasai. Usually, the children say gomen nasai to adults. So it's better to say sumimasen to people who are older than you. Okay? Let's practice. The most casual way, please repeat. Gomen. Gomen. Gomenne Gomenne In casual way, please repeat Gomen nasai Gomen nasai In formal way, please repeat Sumimasen Sumimasen. Good. Last one is nice to meet you. We say, Hajime mashite. Hajime mashite. Please repeat. Hajime mashite. Hajime mashite. We can say, Hajime mashite to everyone. Please repeat again. Hajime mashite. Hajime mashite. Good. That's all for today's lesson. Now let's move on to my new challenge. I named this multiple things to check out in Japan. 
I will introduce things to enjoy your trip to Japan after each day's lesson. Today, I will introduce to you two popular foods in my hometown. So, here we go. I was born and raised in Sano City in the Tochigi Prefecture. I think everyone knows where Tokyo is, right? Tokyo is the capital city of Japan. My hometown is about two hours north of Tokyo when you take a couple of local trains. Here is a map of Japan. The red area is the Tochigi Prefecture, and the blue area is Tokyo. This is a map of Tochigi Prefecture. And city of Sano is located in the southwest region. Even though it's only a two hour train ride from Tokyo, Sano is a really countryside. The population is only 120,000 and it's a small city. Now I want to show you two famous foods in Sano. It's not too much to say that. I grew up with these foods. The first one is a type of Japanese noodles called ramen. This is originally from China, but we changed it to a Japanese style. Japan has a lot of types of ramen all around the country, so if you call it Sano ramen, I'm talking about the ramen from Sano. The shape of noodles is different than others. It heats you up when eating our noodles with a hot soup based on the soy sauce. It's so yummy. You can find lots of ramen shops there. This really makes you hungry, doesn't it? Mmm, me too. Well, the second one is a deep fried potato on skewers dipped in a sweet and salty sauce. We call this imo furai. Imo means potatoes and furai means deep fried. I think nobody knows this food except people who live in Sano. We thread small pieces of deep fried potatoes onto skirts. After we steam, cut them into small pieces, then finally deep frying. What makes it taste better is The sauce around potatoes. This reminds me of my father because he always buys them for me when I visit Sano. Mmm, mouth watering. Well, do you want to practice these two words? Let's do it. One is Sano ramen. Sano ramen. Please repeat. Sano ramen. Sano ramen. Good. The other is imo furai. Imo furai. Please repeat. Imo furai. Imo furai. Well done. Please visit my hometown, Sano, and taste them when you visit Japan. I am waiting for your comments of it. That's all for today. In the next video, I will review all the greetings and some more information for them. And at the end of the video, I will again be including. Multiple things to check out in Japan. If you are interested, please go check it out. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment on this video. Please subscribe and like. See you soon. Bye. Mata oai shimashou. Sayonara.